Good morning all you wonderful people. Today in my video I am going to be changing the brake calipers on the Noble. If you're not sure why check out my previous videos you'll see uh, I've had some challenges with the current brakes that are on there. I'm also changing them for a bit of bling. It's not just a practical thing because I've had some challenges with my brakes. This is also because I want to make the car a little bit more special and in doing so I have been waiting a little while but these are now fully done um, and look at that. These are absolutely amazing, these calipers. So they are standard ones, but they've been fully refurbished and painted by a brake caliper refurbs. Um, I'll go into more detail in a bit, but they're going on the car today, so let's see how we get on. So here we are, the offside or driver's side. That's the caliper. That's got to come off. If you, like I say, if you see my other videos, you'll see that uh, I've already done the fronts anyway. I've taken them off before, so you know the process behind it. And this is no different. Bolt there, bolt there. And obviously this time I've got to take off this. So I've got to snip that clip there, take this off. But yeah, looking good. So here is the offside rear, driver's side rear. It's probably easier if I do that. Um, as you can see, pads wise, really impressive actually. They've got loads of meat on them. Loads of meat on them. But one thing I am going to be doing is putting on all brake, all new brake pads. But I will keep these because you never know. Um, the spring clip was on upside down. These are really rusted up. Um, I could clean them up, but I've got. Um, refurbished ones anyway so that's not a problem um, but in here it's looking very old and mucky um, there's quite a bit of surface rust there but um, they're not too bad uh, they work perfectly but uh, yeah so here's the calipers side by side you can see the difference um, looking very tired looking very shiny and new so all I've got to do now is put in the um, connection piece into here with a copper washer and then this caliper um, and then I've got brake I've got didn't mention before I've got brand new brake pads to go in uh, Mintex pads which are going to go in uh, as well um, so you'll see them when I fit that to the car okay so there we are there's the uh, new Mintex pads copper slip um, pins all cleaned up um, painted a spring plate all ready to go on so uh, I'm gonna stick that on now well, there's a bit of drama I uh, had to just machine a little bit off the back here um, with a grinder and um, managed to uh, uh, I didn't wear gloves well I wore plastic gloves these ones and uh, they um, cut through so just had to go in Clean myself up a bit. My own fault. Should have been wearing proper, decent grinding gloves. But I wasn't. I was rushing it. So, I paid the price. So they're on. Looking very snazzy. Um, this is all tightened up. This is all tightened up and lock tighted here and here. The only thing I'm not sure about, on the fronts, these sat flat. But they will not go in any further. And the pin is come through, so I'm sure that they're sat right. And what I am going to do is just check that the pins aren't different lengths. I, I don't think they are, but I will just double check that. But uh, looking good. Oh, as you can see, it's turned into a real miserable day. It's forecast rain all weekend. My poor wheels are outside, but I've got nowhere else to put them. Still, uh, front done, rear done. We'll move around the car. Sorry about the jerkiness of the video. The other rear and the other front. So they're all done, all buttoned up. So now we try and bleed them. 
So here's the kit. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got not enough dot 5.1 anyway. Um, then what we do is we fill this with brake fluid. Um, we connect a cap onto the reservoir, which is in a box down here. So here's my cap. That goes onto the top of the reservoir. We pump this up, pressurize the system, obviously keeping it in the blue. We connect that to it, connect that to the bleed nipple, unlock it, and what should happen is it should push it through. So I'm gonna bleed the back furthest from the pedal first, outside nipple, inside nipple, um, then outside again, then inside again. Then I should do that to the other, the other rear, then I should go to the passenger side, then the driver's side, and then I'm gonna pump the pedal a couple of times, and then I'm gonna do it again. So uh, I may need all of that brake fluid, who knows, but uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so I have bled all of the systems, starting with that corner, then there, then there, and then here, because that's the uh, reservoir there. I didn't record a video on most of this because I've spent about two hours with this system here. And as you can see, I've got it jerry-rigged, uh, bought it off of uh, Amazon, it's about 35, 40 quid. Maybe I should have gone and got a Sealy one or a Draper one or something like that. But um, that valve was basically just leaking. There's no way of stopping it leaking. So I've had to jerry rig a bolt. Um, and it seems to work. A pair of uh, ball noses and a, and a weight on the end just to lift it up to keep it up. Um, but it has worked. It is holding pressure. So basically this pressure, this is full of fluid. You pressurize this. Fluid then comes up here into there and then that pushes the fluid through the system so the great thing is um i had i did get a little bit of air out of that one on the second time through obviously pump the pedal in between um just checked it again nothing coming out of there got a little bit out of that one and nothing out of this one so i'm now on to the uh, final one second time round. i'll do the outside then the inside and if i get no fluid after a few minutes then that's good okay i'm going to try and record this one uh, nothing out of the other side but Ah, there you go, there's a little air bubble. Oh, there we go. See the fluid still going, it's still flowing. No more air bubbles. That's flowing clear. And then we can lock it up. There we go. I've put the front wheels on, just about to put the backs, and I just wanted to admire the size of these rims and I appreciate uh, they're only 18s which isn't big by today's standards and 265 is wide but it's not massively wide again by today's standards but even so they just look brilliant and they are pretty mint these things these team dynamics and I think they suit the car really really well well there we have it all four calipers changed all the brakes bled uh, I will take the car out at some point when we have some good weather, test it all out, make sure it's all fine. But for now, I'm really, really pleased. Calipers look absolutely spot on. Really, really appreciated from BCR. Great company. Go check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and we shall see how the car performs when I take it out. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Thanks.